that these farmers will ensue. Gramagot, Thank you, Deputy, Deputy Hayden. Good, uh, and I'm delighted to have the opportunity to speak to this uh, important motion. As a mixed enterprise farmer myself, I know all too well how challenging not just this year but recent years has been, not just in terms of weather but it, overall price uh, for what is a very critical tillage sector. Uh, I also passionately believe that the, the tillage sector has a very critical role to play in the future of agriculture in Ireland. Um, steps taken in recent years have looked to aid the tillage farmers in the tillage sector. Uh, land mobility, budgetary measures and the encouragement of long-term leasing is critical for a sector that has just too many farmers dependent on Con Acre. Also our efforts in Europe to bring about uh, the elimination of fertiliser tariffs and anti-dumping duties as has been mentioned uh, has gained traction and that mixed with addressing concerns uh, around competition in Europe uh, in terms of it should help to bring about a reduction in the cost of what is the mo one of the most expensive inputs uh, the tillage farmer has. Um, tillage being included in TAMS 2 is a very important step. Uh, and I ask you, Minister, to, you know, I, you've known from uh, previous discussions the urgency there is needed to get that scheme uh, up and open as soon as possible. Um, other measures like the protein crop payment under the uh, basic uh, payment scheme and the first time tillage uh, included as part of the knowledge transfer groups are also other key measures set to uh, support and shows government's commitment to the tillage sector, I, I honestly believe. Um, the previously discussed agri cash flow loan scheme uh, support scheme is also a critical measure and will be very welcome when the fund will become available at the end of the month following the open call to financial intermediaries. Um, Corda, tillage has a critical role to play uh, for our agriculture industry and that's not just for to feed a growing beef and dairy sector uh, or to give more supplies to a burgeoning whiskey sector uh, and beyond in, in distillery. Um, if you just look at climate change and the commitments and challenges that we face as a country, tillage has a massive role to play in that. And earlier, one of the speakers touched on um, the, you know, the sugar beet and the loss of the sugar beet industry, that's something that I've passionately campaigned on uh, for a long time that was a dreadful mistake the, um, for this country. You know, we now look at the likes of the measures that are being brought in under the new cap where crop rotation is a key part of, a key part of the sugar, uh, sugar beet always gave to our industry. Tillage still has a very important role to play and the measures taken by government to date have supported this sector. I welcome the measures, uh, the, the points made in, in our amendment uh, and I will be supporting that to, to, to look at the ongoing work of the National Tillage Forum um, and the ongoing consultation that the Minister provides there. But we need a holistic approach uh, looking at our tillage sector, um, not just on the short term uh, issues that are facing the present, but longer term to make sure that our tillage sector is well provided because we as an island nation cannot repeat mistakes of the past that were made and to make sure that uh, we have a plentiful supply of tillage product into the future for the good of the overall industry. Thank you very much, Ken Thank you, Deputy. We move on. Deputy Martin Kenny is sharing time.